Hi again, everybody. Cubs at the Pirates today, back to 1908. Uh, Cubs 17 and 5, Pirates 11 and 11. Looking here at the standings really quick, and as uh, you can see, the Cubs are 9 and 0 on the road, and we'll see if they keep that streak alive here as they are once again in uh, Pittsburgh. It'll be Johnny Eber starting it off for the Cubs, and uh, his role is a 13 for a 14, and he'll walk. So Nick Maddox loses the first man up. That'll bring up Frank Chance. Evers, we don't even need to look, has 11s all over the place. Here is Chance. Rolls a 65 for a 35, and that ends up being a stolen base by Evers, and that's what you wanted. So Chance now is as good as a bunt. Chance, uh, the next roll, rolls a 54 for a 45. Fly ball right field, and it is uh, Wilson who, who makes the catch. But Evers is able to tag up, go over to third base, and that'll bring up Jimmy Sheckard. So uh, Chance for the Cubs to score already. Top of the first inning, runner on third base, only one out. Jimmy rolls a 25 for a 10. That'll be a single to right, scores the run, and then Shickard is able to steal second right afterwards. And so there's a runner in storing position again for the Cubs. It's one nothing, and here's Jimmy Slagle. He rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Clark has that for the out. Two gone. Joe Tinker up there now rolls a 36 for a 14, and he'll take his base on the walk. He'll bring up Harry Steinfeld. Runners on first and second now. Uh, two outs, top of the first. Steinfeld rolls a 25 for an A. That'll be a ground ball to the uh, right, left side. Sorry, Leach has it. Third baseman on to first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the first inning. Honus Wagner up there hitting 346, 414 on base percentage, 47 slugging percentage, and he can still afford to uh, take it to the next level this season. Rolls a 36 for a 33. That'll be, um, well, we'll see what it is with the little E rule. It's an 11, so that ends up being a ground ball over to short, and um, that is Tinker who drops that one. Wagner makes it to first, so he's on at first base. Nobody out bottom the first. Here's Fred Clark. He rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Sheckard has that one gone. Tommy Leach up now rolls a 61 for a 39, changed to 41, and that is a uh, ground ball over to uh, Tinker, flips over to Evers. They get uh, Wagner on the force, and uh, Leach makes it to uh, first base on the fielder's choice. And uh, Wagner is injured on that play, so we'll have to take him out after this inning. That's going to hurt the Pirates' chances. Runner on a first uh, two gone. Chief Wilson up there. Owen Wilson uh, rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly ball center field, and uh, Slagle has that for the out. We go to the bottom or the uh, top of the second, and that will be it for Wagner. And you know who we're going to put in. We don't even need to look at his card. We all know who it is. Charlie Starr goes over to uh, shortstop and will <laughs> end up being the leadoff hitter. Wildfire Schultz here for the Cubs, top of the second, rolls a 66 for a zero, then a 36 for a uh, six. There's the roll for the L. It's way out of the range, so it's a double for Schultz. That'll bring up Pat Moran. So while the uh, Pirates are rolling injuries for their players, the Cubs are rolling doubles. Pat Moran up there. Hitting 182, 308 on base percentage, uh, having one of his rarer starts. With the runner on second, rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's a single that will uh, score the runner. He's then caught trying to steal because of the little C. So it's a 2 nothing game here for the Cubs with one out. Jack Feister up there. He rolls a uh, 22 for an 8. That's going to be a ground ball to uh, Star. Throws to first. Uh, two gone. Johnny Evers up there now. Rolls a 25 for an 11. That will be a single, and then he'll steal second right afterwards. That brings up Frank Chance with the runner on at second. Two gone. He rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field. It's uh, Wilson who has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. Owen Wilson, uh, of course, it's his rookie year. Um, you probably didn't know that. Owen Wilson, who uh, had 36 triples in 1912. Ed Abaticio up here at the bottom of the second, leading off for pi the uh, Pirates. Rolls a 52 for a 27. Ground ball over to uh, Steinfeld. Throws the first. One away. Ed Phelps uh, rolls a 52 for a 27. Same result, same play. Steinfeld goes to first. Two gone. Harry Swasina up there now, and it'll be a 55 for an 8. That's a fly ball to center field. Slagle has it for the out. We'll go to the top of the third with this. It's uh, Jimmy Sheckard for the Cubs. Jimmy rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Clark has that one away, and here's uh, Jimmy Slagle. So from one Jimmy to the next, and Slagle rolls a 14 for a 43. Here is a little E roll. It's a 25, and it's going to be out of the range. Fly ball again to left. Clark has it. Two gone. Joe Tinker uh, rolls a 12 for a 25, and uh, yet another little E roll. This one's out of the range, 63. So it's a grounder over to second, and Abaticio has it on to first, and we go to the bottom of the third. Beals Becker is up for uh, Pittsburgh. Becker rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back over to Feister. Throws the first. One away. Nick Maddox up there now, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. Here is a little E roll, and it ends up being a 25 just out of the range. Pop up to Tinker, the shortstop, for the second out. Two gone, and here is our friend Charlie Starr. 214 average. 
It's a uh, rolls rather a 53 for a 21 change to a 22. It'll be a grounder over to Chance who flips over to Feister covering the bag at first. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Moving quickly here, uh, two nothing for the Cubs. And uh, Harry Steinfeld rolls a 25 for an A. That'll be a ground ball to short. Star has it on the first, one out. Wildfire Schultz now rolls a 66 for a zero. His next roll is going to be a 25 for a six. And then there is, again, that uh, potential home run roll, but it's a 35 out of the range. That'll be a double for Schultz. And uh, that brings up Pat Moran. Runner on at first or second base, one out. And uh, Moran, go ahead and swing away here. Rolls a 36 for a 32. Fly ball to right field. Wilson has that for the second out. Two gone. Jack Feister rolls a 21 for a 30. That'll be a fly ball to Clark and left. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Two nothing Cubs. Uh, Chicago's left four on. The Pirates only have left one on. Bottom of the fourth. And uh, the roll for Fred Clark's a 22 for a 7. Single to right. And so they break the spell that Jack Feister had cast upon them. And here comes Tommy Leach. Two nothing. Not out of range. And... Uh, uh, Lee trolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball over to Tinker, flips to Devers. Get the uh, force at second, no throw to first. Uh, one away, and here's uh, Owen Wilson. Wilson rolls a 63 for a 30. It'll be a fly ball to left field. Sheckard has it, two gone, and it's Abitisio. He rolls a 34 for a 44, and that's a fly ball over to center. Slagle's got it. We go to the top of the fifth. Johnny Evers now uh, leading this off top of the fifth. The Cubs, 2 nothing game. Cubs in control. Evers rolls a 52 for a 27. Grounder over to Leach, who goes to first. One gone. Frank Chance now. He rolls a 24 for a 13, and he's going to strike out. First strikeout of the game for Nick Maddox. Two gone. Here's Jimmy Shepard. He rolls a 16 for a 28. That'll be a grounder over to short. Charlie Starr has that one yet again and throws the first for the out. And uh, let's see if we can get this center a little bit better. There we go. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's going to be Ed Phelps, catcher for the Pirates. Rolls a 33 for a 7, and there's a single to right field. That'll bring up Harry Swasina. So uh, question is, do you swing away? Do you bunt? Probably bunt with Swasina hitting 185. Rolls a 61 for a 32 as a bunt to the left side. It is uh, Steinfeld who has that throws over to first for the out. Phelps will move up to second, and there's two chances now for the Pirates to get that run home. First, it's Beals Becker who rolls a 53 for a 16, changed to 22. And that's going to be a bad throw by Feister trying to pick off the runner, and that allows Phelps to move over to third. Um, Becker's still up there, and uh, the infield will play deep. Next roll is a 56 for 32. Fly ball right field, and Schultz has it for the out, and Phelps is not fast enough to score. So there's two away, and here comes Nick Maddox, and you have to leave him in the game at this point. And so uh, let's see what the Pirates do here. Maddox rolls a 42 for a 23, changed to 41, and um, that's going to be a, a pickoff play. So after a pitch, Moran fires it over to third base, and uh, Steinfeld puts the tag down, and they get the ma- the runner off of uh, third base, and we go to the top of the sixth inning. Poor running play there by the Pirates, and it also means that Maddox will lead off the bottom of the sixth. Jimmy Slagle here in the top of the sixth now rolls a 31 for a 14, and he walks, and that'll bring up uh, Joe Tinker. Tinker today so far 0 for 1. Hitting a nice, cool 256, 280 on base percentage, and he rolls a 25 for a 10. That'll be a single to left center field. Slagle moves over to third, and then next, uh, Tinker steals second. And that'll bring up Harry Steinfeld now. What, two nothing game, runners on at second and third, and we'll just swing away with Harry. This is a 36 for a 33. Here's the little E roll. It's a 36 out of the range. It'll be a pop up over to the left side, and uh, Leach has that for the out, one gone. Here's Wildfire Schultz. He rolls a 66 for a zero, and here comes the next one. It's an 11 for a, th- a two, and that'll be a triple to deep left field, and that scores both runners. Schultz makes it to third, and it's a 4 nothing game. The Cubs have taken control of this one. Pat Moran up now, 4 nothing lead, and he rolls a 66 for a zero, and then a 65 for an A. There's another single, and that'll score another run. 5 nothing Cubs, and here comes Jack Feister. One out, let him swing away, have his have his cuts. He rolls a 34 for a 44. Fly ball center field. Becker's got that for the out. Two away, and here's Johnny Evers. Evers rolls a 46 for a 29. That'll be a comebacker over to Maddox, who throws the first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And I hate to say this, this is going to be it for um, Nick Maddox, who just is not pitching well. Warren Gill. Warren Gill is going to come into this game, and uh, we'll have him go ahead and uh, pinch hit. Probably have him play first after this, too. 
Gill rolls a 42 for a 37, change to 36, that'll be a ball. Gill so far only four plate appearances this season. Now rolls a 32 for a 26, it's a ground ball over to second. Evers has it on to first, one gone. Charlie Starr it is, and he rolls a 31 for a 14, and he walks, and that'll bring up uh, Fred Clark. Clark rolls a 41 for a 28, ground ball, shortstop, tinker, flips it over to Evers for one. No play at first, though, and uh, it's two away. Here's Tommy Leach. Leach rolls a 16 for a 26. That's another ground ball to second this time. Uh, Evers uh, flips over to Tinker, and they get the uh, fours. We go to the top of the seventh inning. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to have uh, Gill change his position. He'll be the first baseman. Whoops. I have to actually click OK. See, it should be OK here and cancel over. Whatever. Whatever. And then Swasina, we're going to do uh, actually... They probably have a third baseman somewhere around here, huh? What do you think? Or not? Well, apparently not. Apparently we don't keep third baseman on the bench. What do they have? They have another first baseman, and they have an outfielder. Um, <laughs> so we will not do that. What we will do here is we will just take Swasina out, and um, we'll put, I don't know, someone or other will come into this ball game. Harley Young. Harley Young, you look pretty good. I bet you can... Um, I bet you can uh, be the pitcher if you try. There we go. So Harley Young, now the pitcher, comes in top of the seventh inning. Five-nothing game, and here's Frank Chance. Chance rolls a 66 for a zero, so he greets Young right away with power, and then a 63 for a six. That's a double hit deep to right center field. I'll bring up Jimmy Sheckard now, the runner on his second base, and uh, nobody out. Top of the seventh, five-nothing Cubs. Sheckard rolls a 22 for an eight. That'll be a comebacker to Young. Throws to first for the out. Chance moves to third. One gone. Jimmy Slagle rolls an 11 for a 7, and he gets the single that scores the run. It's 6-0 Cubs, and here's Joe Tinker. Tinker rolls a 36 for a 14. It'll be a ball. Next roll is a 33 for a 0, and the roll after that is a 35 for a 2. That'll be a triple down the right field foul line, and um, uh, that makes this a 7-0 game. Up now is uh, Harry Steinfeld. Harry rolls a 36 for a 33. That'll be a pop-up, and Harley Young grabs that for the second out. Two gone, and it's Schultz. He rolls an 11 for a 0, and uh, then a 52 for a 6. And that's going to be a double to right field. That will score the run. Now it's 8 nothing in favor of the Cubs. And um, I think that we have seen enough from Mr. Young, who can't get anybody out. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Who do we have on the bench that makes sense in a... Uh, Relief roll, probably Sam Lever. So it will be Lever coming in now. Only one inning pitch so far. I probably haven't been using him as realistically as I should have. It's Pat Moran with two outs, top of the seventh. He rolls a 54 for a 45, and here comes that uh, little E roll. 66 is out of the range. It'll be a fly ball to right field, and uh, it's going to be uh, Wilson who has that for the out when we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. 8 nothing Cubs, and uh, it's uh, Owen Wilson leading this off. He rolls a 42 for a 32 fly ball right field, and uh, Schultz has that for the out, one gone. Now Ed Abaticio rolls a 15 for an 11. That'll be a single, and then he'll steal second with Ed Phelps up there. See, the Pirates can muster a little bit of offense. One away, Phelps up, down by 8. Rolls a 31 for a 9. That's going to be a ground ball over to the first baseman, Chance. Goes to the bag himself. Abaticio moves to third, two gone. Sam Lever now rolls a 63 for a 32. It's a fly ball right field, and um, that's going to be Schultz there for the out, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. Um, so Jack Feister up there, and yes, we did have Lever bat for himself because what other chance do we have? Feister rolls a 12 for a 24. Ground ball shortstop star to first. One gone. Evers now rolls an 11 for a 0. And then a 24 for a 6. That'll be a double to right center field, and that'll bring up Frank Chance with his chance. Johnny Everson at second base, only one out. Top of the eighth inning, 8 nothing Cubs, and they're adding on to their lead. Chance rolls a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a single. We'll score the runner, and then Chance is thrown out trying to steal. It's 9 nothing. Jimmy Sheckard now nobody on base. 14 hits for the Cubs. Pirates are playing in a different era than the Cubs. Uh, Sheckard rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Wilson has that for the third out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, seriously, the Cubs look like they're playing in the 20s with nine runs, 14 hits. Pirates have three hits, no runs. Beals Becker now, bottom of this eighth inning, rolls a 22 for a seven. Single to right field, and that'll bring up Warren Gill with a runner on at first base. Of course, he's going to swing away. What else can you do? Gill rolls a 34 for a 44. Fly ball to center field. Slagle's got that one gone. Charlie Starr rolls a 34 for a 44. Another fly ball to center. Slagle's got it two away, and it's Fred Clark who rolls a 56 for a 34. That'll be a high pop-up. Tinker, the shortstop, has that, and we go to the top of the ninth. 
Nine nothing Chicago. Nine runs, fourteen hits, two errors for the Cubs. No runs, four hits, no errors for the Pirates. Jimmy Slagle rolls a twenty-one for a thirty. Fly ball left field, and it's Clark who has that one away. Now Joe Tinker. Tinker rolls a fifty-five for an A. That'll be a single to left center field, and that'll bring up Harry Steinfeld. The runner on at first, head number fifteen for the Cubs. Steinfeld rolls a forty-six for a twenty-nine. Come back with a lever, throws the first. Two gone. Here is Schultz. He rolls a 13 for a 14 and will take his base, and that'll bring up Pat Moran. Pat is two for four today. This is one to increase your average. He rolls a 52 for a 27. Ground ball to Leach. She flips that over to Abaticio at second, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. Tommy Leach it is. Tommy Leach will lead this off for the Pirates. He rolls an 11 for a zero, and uh, we'll get a 12 for an 11. That'll be a single for Leach and then a stolen base. Only hit number five of the game for the Pirates, and here comes uh, Owen Wilson, who rolls a 63 for a 30. Fly ball left field, Shekard's there. One gone. Ed Abitisio, he rolls a 51 for a nine. That's going to be a single. We'll score the runner, and then Abitisio's thrown out trying to steal. It makes it a 91 ball game, so there goes the uh, shutout. And here is Phelps, who rolls a 51 for a nine. Single over short, and that will bring up the pitcher, Sam Lever. Of course, we're not going to let him bat for himself again. Why would we do that for a a, a a pinch hitter? It's going to be Jim Kane who comes in there to hit. So runner on at first base, and it's Kane. And Kane rolls a 43 for a 29. That's going to be a comeback to Feister. Throws over to first for the out, and uh, that does it. So the Cubs win this one 9-1. to one. This game not particularly close at any point in time. Cubs let off with a run and just kept on the pressure, and uh, that will be it for today. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that one. Talk to you then. Bye.